Built to last? What does it mean for a vehicle to be built to last? Is it about the strength of the materials, the engineering precision, or the brand's reputation? Perhaps it's a combination of all these factors and more. Exploring the importance of car safety. In today's world, car safety is paramount. It's not just about surviving a crash, it's about preventing one in the first place. Advanced safety features, rigorous testing, and continuous innovation are crucial. We love cars, the thrill of speed, the freedom of the open road, the growl of a well-tuned engine. These are the things that make driving a joy. But behind the scenes, there's a complex web of technology and engineering working tirelessly to keep us safe. But none of that matters if the car isn't safe. A single floor can turn a dream ride into a nightmare. Safety isn't just a feature, it's a necessity. It's the foundation upon which all other aspects of a vehicle are built. A car is more than a hunk of metal, it's a promise. A promise to protect your loved ones, to ensure that every journey ends safely. It's a commitment from the manufacturer to the driver, a bond of trust that must never be broken. A promise to get you from A to B in one piece. Every time you turn the key, you're placing your trust in the vehicle and its makers. And that trust is built on years of research, development and rigorous testing. And when that promise is broken, the consequences can be devastating. Lives can be lost, families shattered and reputations tarnished. It's a stark reminder of the importance of safety in every aspect of vehicle design and manufacturing. Today, we're talking about Mahindra and Mahindra a name synonymous with tough, reliable vehicles in India. For decades, Mahindra has been a symbol of durability and strength, producing vehicles that can withstand the harshest conditions. Specifically, we're looking at their popular SUV, the Scorpio, and an incident that sent shockwaves through the company and beyond. The Scorpio, known for its ruggedness and reliability, faced a challenge that tested the very core of its reputation. This isn't about horsepower or torque. This is about trust. Trust! that the vehicle you drive will keep you safe, that the promises made by the manufacturer will be upheld. When that trust is broken, it affects not just the company, but every individual who believed in it. And sometimes even the biggest giants can falter. It's a reminder that no matter how strong a brand's reputation, continuous vigilance and commitment to safety are essential. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about building cars, it's about building trust. In 2022, tragedy struck in Kampur, India. The bustling city known for its vibrant culture and industrious spirit was suddenly shrouded in grief and disbelief. A young man, Apur of Mishra, lost his life in a car accident. The Mishra family, once full of joy and laughter, was now enveloped in sorrow. Apur was a promising individual loved by many, and his untimely death left a void that could never be filled. He was driving a Mahindra Scorpio, recently purchased by his father. The SUV, known for its ruggedness and reliability, was supposed to be a symbol of safety and security for the family. Rajesh Mishra, Apoor's father, had trusted the brand implicitly, believing it to be the best choice for his son's safety. The devastating part, eyewitnesses claimed the airbags, meant to be a lifeline in such accidents, failed to deploy. The crash site was a scene of horror, with the once sturdy vehicle now a twisted wreck. Emergency responders worked tirelessly, but it was too late for Apurv. Apurv's father, Rajesh Mishra, filed a lawsuit against Mahindra and Mahindra. He was determined to seek justice for his son, believing that the company had failed in its duty to protect its customers. The legal battle was not just about compensation, it was about accountability and the need for stringent safety measures. His accusation? That the specific Scorpio variant his son drove lacked airbags altogether. This revelation was shocking, as airbags are a standard safety feature in modern vehicles. Rajesh Mishra's claim raised serious questions about the company's practices and the safety of its vehicles. He alleged that the company misled customers, putting profits before safety. The accusation resonated with many, leading to widespread outrage. Customers felt betrayed, and the trust that Mahindra and Mahindra had built over the years was now under severe scrutiny. This case quickly became a lightning rod, igniting a firestorm of controversy. Media outlets covered the story extensively, and public protests erupted, demanding answers and accountability from the car manufacturer. The incident highlighted the broader issue of corporate responsibility and consumer rights. It wasn't just about one family's loss. It was about a company's integrity hanging in the balance. 
The case of Apoorva Mishra became a symbol of the fight for safer vehicles and transparent business practices. It served as a stark reminder that the promises made by corporations must be upheld and the lives of customers should never be compromised for profit. Mahindra and Mahindra vehemently denied the allegations. They maintained that the Scorpio S9 variant involved in the accident was indeed equipped with airbags. Their defense hinged on the nature of the crash. According to their investigations, it was a rollover accident. In such scenarios, they argued, the frontal airbags are not designed to deploy. Their purpose is to protect in head-on collisions, not rollovers. Mahindra and Mahindra expressed deep sorrow for the family's loss, but stood firm by their product's safety. They cooperated with authorities, provided their internal reports, and asserted their commitment to transparency. But in the court of public opinion, the damage was done. The Kanpur incident spread like wildfire on social media. Hash Scorpio airbag failure, hash Mahindra safety became rallying cries for concerned citizens. People shared their own experiences, questioned Mahindra's safety standards and demanded accountability. Some posts showed mangled Scorpios after accidents, questioning the effectiveness of their safety features. Others called for stricter safety regulations in India. The court of public opinion was in session and Mahindra and Mahindra found themselves on trial. This wasn't just about legal battles anymore. This was about public perception, brand image, and the erosion of trust. Section 5. Indian Roads, Global Standards, A Need for Change The Kanpur incident ignited a broader conversation about car safety in India. While Mahindra and Mahindra maintained their innocence in this specific case, it shone a light on a pressing issue. India, unfortunately, has one of the highest rates of road accidents globally. Are car safety standards stringent enough? Are consumers aware enough? These questions loomed large. The government, in response to public outcry, announced plans to further enhance car safety regulations. But is it enough? The journey towards safer roads demands a collective effort from manufacturers, policymakers, and drivers alike. Section 6. A History of Trouble? Mahindra in the Legal Crosshairs. This wasn't the first time Mahindra and Mahindra found themselves navigating legal challenges. The company, known for its robust vehicles and diverse business ventures, has had its fair share of legal entanglements over the years. Back in 2012, they faced a significant lawsuit in the United States. This case was particularly notable because it involved a large group of dealers who felt wronged by the company. These dealers accused Mahindra of fraud and misrepresentation regarding the much-anticipated launch of their pickup trucks in the US market. The dealers claimed that Mahindra had made promises that were not kept, leading to financial losses and damaged reputations. While Mahindra and Mahindra denied these allegations and eventually settled the case, it raised significant questions about their business practices. The settlement, although it resolved the immediate legal issue, did little to quell the concerns about the company's integrity and transparency. Was there a pattern emerging? Observers began to wonder if these legal troubles were isolated incidents or indicative of a deeper systemic issue within the company. Were these isolated incidents or did they point to a larger issue within the company? The recurring nature of these legal challenges suggested that there might be underlying problems that needed to be addressed. The Kanpur incident, regardless of the final verdict, brought these past issues back into the spotlight. This incident, involving allegations of safety violations and regulatory non-compliance, echoed the concerns raised in previous legal battles. It seemed history had an uncomfortable way of repeating itself. The pattern of legal challenges and settlements painted a picture of a company that despite its successes, struggled with maintaining a clean legal slate. Each new incident not only revived old questions, but also added new layers of scrutiny and scepticism. As Mahindra and Mahindra continues to grow and expand its global footprint, the company faces the ongoing challenge of addressing these legal issues head on. Ensuring compliance, transparency, and ethical business practices will be crucial for its future success and reputation. Only time will tell if Mahindra can overcome these hurdles and emerge stronger, or if the shadows of its legal past will continue to haunt its journey forward.
Section 7, setting the record straight, the Scorpio nightclub fiasco. Now, before we jump to conclusions, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the Scorpio in the nightclub. You might have stumbled upon stories about a nightclub owner named John Harvey Martin and a money laundering scheme. Let's be clear, this incident has absolutely nothing to do with Mahindra and Mahindra or their Scorpio vehicle. It's crucial to separate fact from fiction. This unrelated incident, unfortunately, got tangled up with the Mahindra story due to the shared Scorpio name. Let's not muddy the waters with unrelated events. Section 8. Reputation under fire. The long road to recovery. The Kanpur incident, regardless of its final legal outcome, left a dent in Mahindra and Mahindra's reputation. The court of public opinion can be swift and unforgiving. The company now faces an uphill battle to rebuild trust. They need to go beyond legal defences and engage in open, transparent communication with their consumers. Actions speak louder than words. Mahindra and Mahindra needs to demonstrate their commitment to safety through concrete actions, stricter adherence to global standards and perhaps most importantly, a genuine empathy for those affected. Section 9. Trust, safety and responsibility. A call for action. The story of the Mahindra Scorpio is a stark reminder that car safety is not just about airbags and crash tests. It's about the implicit trust we place in the hands of manufacturers. It's about holding them accountable for the promises they make. It's also a call to action for consumers. Do your research, demand transparency, understand the safety features of your car. Because on the open road, knowledge and awareness are just as important as horsepower and handling. So the next time you're behind the wheel, Remember, it's not just a car you're driving, it's a responsibility.